Good morning, everyone. Another Disney vlog today. Our last one. Our last day here in Orlando. We fly back tomorrow, so you'll see a travel vlog tomorrow. But um, right now we are in Disney Springs. We're gonna give you guys a full-on restaurant review and also how it relates to the Disney dining plan of Morimoto Asia. Um, I did some research on Morimoto Asia on YouTube and I found that there's not much on YouTube about it, so we're gonna make today's video kind of a focus about that restaurant. Those of you on the Disney Dining Plan are planning to use your Disney Dining Plan credits. When you're here, it's a two credit meal, or it's a two credit sit down meal. So, Morimoto, those who don't know, is a Iron Chef. So we are heading there now, and then we're just gonna explore Disney Springs after we eat. We just ordered our food. I ordered for my appetizer the beef bao bun and Mary Kate ordered a spider roll. And then for our meals, we have ordered the, Mary Kate got the uh, seafood crispy Shanghai noodles, which is one of, the, one of their rice and noodle dishes. And then I ordered the Peking duck. Now I mentioned earlier that this is a two credit meal. And that's only true for certain entrees. Mary Kate got the crispy Shanghai noodles. That's only a one credit meal. But I got the Peking duck, which normally serves two people. And that would be one credit per person. But I wanted that as just my entree. And so that counted as a two credit meal for me. So everything not everything at Morimoto Asia is not two credits. It just depends on what you get. Also, the, uh, the filet mignon is a two credit meal. And then if you're looking to spend quite a few credits here, if you've accumulated all the credits throughout your trip here at Disney, the Wagyu beef is a four credit meal. So, and that was kind of a mystery for me Look, going into this meal was what the Wagyu beef would be. Because it's $26 MSRP for an ounce and you, it's a minimum of three ounces or three ounces to order it. So I wasn't sure how that would play out in terms of credits, if that would be a three credit or what, but it's actually a four credit entree. So everything Morning with Asia is not two credits, it's just those few entrees that make your meal a two credit. Also, here if you have a, a table service dining plan, receive an alcohol beverage, a appetizer, entree, and dessert. So American and I also got our alcohol beverages. She got the Prosecco. I got the Japanese old fashioned. So we're enjoying those right now and just waiting for our food to come out. So I just got my bao bun and I'm gonna give it a quick try. It's on kind of a doughy bun and there's beef and I think some Napa cabbage in here. So I'm gonna give it a quick try. I think with a Asian style pickle. So it's kind of like a Japanese taco. There's also a spicy mayo, which is really good. Beef's really soft, tender, but then you get the crispiness from the Napa cabbage and the pickle. And then that bun is just really soft, it's really good. Mary Kate's waiting on her spider roll. When she gets that, we'll give you guys a quick review of that as well. But it's just like the spider roll that you can get at home. But it was good, I enjoyed it. How's, how's your drink been, babe? Good. So 
right now we're just finishing up our entrees. Peking duck is really good. It's a lot of food, so if you want to go solo on it, be prepared to eat a lot. Mary Kate got the Shanghai noodles, as you saw. It's a massive portion, so also another shareable dish. And surprisingly, a one meal credit. So I think that's a really good bang for your buck meal. So we just kind of sit here going back and forth, sharing and trying things. Mary Kate hasn't tried my duck because she has an issue with eating duck apparently. It's a really a cute animal that she won't eat. Meals, the food here, the food here is really good. The service has been really good for us. And the ambiance, as you guys have seen, I'm sure earlier in this video, is really cool. It's a really beautiful, really, really, really well decorated restaurant. So we're just gonna keep enjoying our time here at Morimoto's and then spend some more time here at Disney Springs. So right now we're gonna enjoy some desserts. Mary Kate got the Chiros Fondue, and I got the Mochi Mochi. So I'm not really sure what it is. I know there's some different flavored boba, some fruits, and some sort of like a pudding-y thing. So I'll let you guys know how it is after I have it. Morimoto Asia, probably my favorite dining experience at Disney World. Our experience at Masahari Morimoto's Morimoto Asia at Disney Springs was really great. I had the bao buns as well as the Peking duck, and Mary Kate had she had a sushi roll, I believe the tiger roll, as well as the crispy seafood bowl. Now, one thing I'm going to say when you're going to Morimoto Asia is prepare, be prepared to eat. Both of our entrees were huge. I, on the other hand, my dish itself was actually made for two. Her dish was advertised as a single person dish. Now the reason mine was for two is that I wanted the Peking duck and Peking duck is only made for two. Now those of you who are looking to go to Morimoto Asia and if you're making your reservation and if you're especially, especially if you're on the dining plane, you'll notice that it is a two credit meal. Now that is only true for a few select dishes. The Peking duck is a two credit meal as well as the steak. Now if you're going there and wanting to try the, the Wagyu beef, it is actually a, I believe, three to four credit meal. I think it's a four credit meal. So you prepare for that. Everything else, if you're just going to get um, some sushi, a pasta bowl, ramen, other things on the menu, it's only a single credit meal. So that's a very important tip when you're going to Morimoto Asia on the meal plan. Those of you who have been watching our videos, we were on the meal plan, we were on the uh, deluxe dining plan, so it means we had uh, three meals a day. And so we had actually saved up a few meal credits throughout our trip so we can splurge at Morimoto Asia. Now we were preparing for Mary Kate to spend two meal credits, but she ended up not spending two meal credits because of her dish. Now with the deluxe dining plan, you receive an appetizer, an entree, and dessert, and also at sit down restaurants, you receive a alcoholic beverage as well. As your drink, you can order a pop and an alcoholic beverage if you choose one of the two. So we had some really great 
drinks there as well. So I would say Moro Moro Asia is a, definitely a place to hit up when you're in Disney Springs or if you have an extra park. If you have a day not in the park, you should go to Disney Springs because there's a lot of great things to see. While we were there, we went to Goofy's Candy Shop, which we used to spend a lot of our extra snack credits. We went to World of Disney, which is Disney's kind of Disney store on Disney property, which has a plethora of different Disney items, accessories, stuffed animals. And so I think we showed you a little bit of what it looked like in there. So it's definitely a place to go. And there's a lot of other great shopping experience as well high-end shopping if you need to get a pair of uggs a pair of sperries while you're down there there's a lot of great stores like that or if you need some clothes from some high-end retailers it's a place to go as well so overall morimoto asia was a great place to go for a great meal like i said if you have the extra day that you're not going to the park and you want to have a nice meal especially if you're a fan of asian food i would say go there one thing that i would say is I know at the end of a kind of our food review section, I was trying, we were trying our desserts and Mary Kate got the churro fondue and I picked the mochi mochi. Now her fondue, her churro fondue was really awesome. And I would say, if you go there, get that. If you're looking to be adventurous, don't. <laughs> I got the mochi mochi, which it turned out to be a bed of dessert tofu. And on top of that was some different boba, different flavored boba, and some other sauces, sweet sauces and sour sauces. Normally I'm pretty adventurous when it comes to my food. That really wasn't doing, for, doing it for me. It was just, like I said, a weird texture, a weird flavor, and definitely wasn't my favorite dessert at Disney World. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you're wondering where Mary Kate is right now, Matthew is teething at the moment so she's taking care of him while well, i just get this video wrapped up so we can send it out to you guys this morning so make sure you guys like comment subscribe and share our videos and we'll see you in the next video which will be our disney wrap-up video so this is our last disney vlog video on saturday you'll see our disney wrap-up video so if you have any questions about disney our experience any tips that you might want from us just from our experience mary kate's gone many times to disney i've gone this is my third actual park trip, my fourth trip down to Orlando to Disney property. So we both have quite a bit of experience that we'd like to share with you guys in our upcoming videos. So make sure you give us some questions or just some thoughts you might have on our trip and we'll happy to answer those questions or give you those tips if you want those. So we'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye.